Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today, we're taking a look at Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. I really, I'm gonna be honest, I don't exactly know what to expect. Um, when we are doing uh, first 20 streams where we create all the first 20 content. Uh, I'm trying to make it a thing now where I ask the audience what game I should play so I can actually have one of the games in the group uh, be audience chosen and the audience voted on Valhalla. Now I don't know a whole lot about this game other than it is cyberpunk bartender action uh, and that Adri, uh, my friend Adri, did uh, voice work in your, well, song work. Music? Song? You know what I mean. She sang. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. Uh, this is, I'm currently playing on PC, but it's also on Mac and Linux, as well as Switch, PS4, and PlayStation Vita, if you have one of those. Oh, I waited long enough that it's going to show us a little, uh, like, cutscene. Maybe. Because I had skipped it to, 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 to adjust the settings at the beginning. Glitch City, 2070 XAD. A city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines to keep them in check. Over them stand the White Knights. I didn't read that fast enough. But I get the gist of it. Here, brutality in all its forms is an everyday reality. The quality of life for the non-powerful decreases at an alarming rate. For many, this can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs, their families, or even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place, and others just give up. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. Sometimes you want to know where... Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. On a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you can find the Hall A of the BTC Certified Bar of Valhalla. But that's a mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. I like the pixel work on this, too. A small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. And it's here where this story unfolds. Neat! Of course, now I have to hit play. <laughs> Thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. Okay. We hope you have a good time. Okay. Psst. Hey, over here. Boo! How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya! Oh, just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. Chapter 1, Primera. I held on that text. Plenty long. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the Augmented Eye. Okay. Welcome, Jill. Boss and me. Hold to unlock. Four. So, who was that letter from? Nobody. Huh. So I can go to work. I got zero dollars. Best boss. Hold to unlock. So I can look at my phone. Welcome, Jill. Mass immigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborgs in heels. Oh, I can, like, read this. So this is this is very much like, just chill out, relax, grab some snacks. It's like a, a less scary papers, please. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's 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 the analogy I'm gonna go with. And there's just music. In case you just want to listen to music. Neat. So there's that's how you get to the music player. You can add apps, but not right now. All right, so I guess we're going to go to work. Let's go. Tuesday, the 13th. Remember, we got to have that money by uh, the 17th. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? When you let people call you Jules? Jules? Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Dunno. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes. That you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful and... Ah. There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago, I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there are all the beer, and there are all the beer cans around my apartment. And Jill, sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano, man, I'll skip the rest. But bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Gil. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it and that'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then this should be no problem. Uh... So... It is... It's a bartender game, is what it is. And while there was some text on the right, it seems like most of the text on the is on the left. So I'm actually just going to... Very quickly and swiftly... Uh, take me on a magical journey here uh, to the other side of the screen. Woo! Did you know I can fly? I can fly. Uh, okay, so Gil wants either Sugar Rush or Piano Man. Uh, so... Use the navigation bar to start browsing. Navigation bar. So, it's a Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush. Oh, I'm going to be a bad, bad bartender. A sugar rush is two Adelheid and one powdered delta with optional Karmatrine. All mixed. Man, I'm literally the worst choice for a bartender. These could be real things, and I wouldn't know. Sweet, light, and fruity, as girly as it gets. Sweet, girly, happy. Okay, all right, cool. All right, so I need... I need... One of... Two, two of these... And a powdered delta. And optional... Karma train. Okay, so optional. I decided it's going in. Mix. Is it mixed? Fail? Oh no! Oh no! It mixed it too long! Serve. I can't serve it because it's disgusting. Reset. Okay, I'm... S Two parts this. One part this. No optional karma change. Mix. Stop. Success. Okay, just mix a little. But I don't know exactly how much serve. Here, happy now? A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. Oh, God. Uh, I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Check ice and age buttons on the side to select the one you need. And in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. It should be noted that the station will add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind, though. Just a fun fact. 
give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, a moon blast. Uh, M for moon. Moon blast. Six? That's so many. Six. A powder delta. A flanner guide. That's a lot, especially since it looks like these are like literal like 12 ounce cans. It's like, listen, I need 120 ounces of alcohol. It's the only way. All on the rocks and blended. Okay, so ice, mix, and then wait for it to shake a lot. Shake a lot, stop. Success, serve. Here, did I amuse you for long enough? You did. Sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Okay. Optional carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Really? Okay. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey, guys! Oh, but... Eh? Who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest to bring her unconscious body in here. She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it! There are two of you. Believe in yourselves! Uh... Do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night! Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? While you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Fine, I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine! With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. Jukebox 3. 2069 was a long time from now. It doesn't work as well. Please select a song. All right, well, there's 12... Oh, there's lots of pages. Can't play them all. Uh, Snowfall. A loading preview. It's good beats. All right, let's do Snowfall. I, was, I almost wanted to click it. be like 12 times. Just that one. That one. And, uh... We'll just throw in some other ones. It's not... That important. At the moment. Anyway, time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey you, get me a beer. Oh, sure, right on it. Oh god, what is a beer? What is a beer? <laughs> oh, it, it, okay. It, oh, that's a thing. Uh, so one of these, two of these, uh, one of these, two of these, and four of these. All mixed, traditionally brewed. Uh, it's gonna da, 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 mix. Stop. Success, serve. Here you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. You could have said that. Um, sure. Beer wasn't enough, apparently. Okay, so now I have to make another one. Okay, so one of these... Two of these. Oh wait, I have to double everything. Two of these. Four of these. Two of these. 
four of these and eight of these. God. This man's gonna die. How about this one? Ah, yes. Now this one's fit for a man like me. Right. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey the Third. Huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it, my interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help, them, uh, help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and the other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? Well, people get desensit... People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money. And like I said, money's good. Huh. I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clips come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? Ugh. The kid on the restaurant critique column... Uh, uh, shit. Forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to get me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Try to give me... But I gave you one... Out beer again. This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. So wait, though, does he want a big one? I don't know if he wants a big one. He didn't say. I, he's getting a small one because he didn't say. You have to special. You have to say that. You have to say what you want, and you need to learn in your life. You gotta. You gotta say what you want. You can't just willy nilly. Doggone it. One beer. Yeah, this is a beer, all right. Correct. That is what I made you. Keep it up, kid. You'll get better someday. So tell me. Do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'd, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who's that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. 
Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather uh, than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really, at least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks... Those, those folks people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want to see is their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Now, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Well, sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. <laughs> oh, please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Uh, even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones who constantly cultivate the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Go into exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. I can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help. Sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two can play that game of, uh... Uh, hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Oh, wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated. And lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway, eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer's waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did, did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. Is it? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan... Now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah. You were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, uh, yes, yes. You know what? Third time's the charm. Give me a beer. All right. Third time's the charm for what? Anyway, better give them that beer. All right, sure. I know how to make them now. I'll say that much. There you go. Two of these. 
four of these mix. And serve. One beer. Yeah, I guess this one's good enough for now. Good to hear. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. There was uh, some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no! They have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers are asking for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, hey, why don't we do what the other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. Wonder what happened with Sven, though. We never heard from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs! Crafty dogs, I tell you, you'd think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling! The sinks, the toilets, the vents! Shh! You wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... All right, we're going to stop here. Um, this game is fascinating. This game is very fascinating. Uh, it, at the beginning, it was a little slow, and I was like, I wasn't really sure what to expect. And, like, the... The bartending aspect is, is a side part to the stories. Although, really, it is a very realistic bartender simulator because people are spilling their guts to you and you're having a conversation. It's really interesting. I'm, I'm interested because right now it's just playing out like there's no options. I'm kind of interested in like the, the times where you would be allowed to add the optional karma trine or karma trine because that's what's probably going to affect the client's like how drunk they're getting and how much information they're revealing. So it's not just playing out like a film. Uh, you can affect things that way. You could probably intentionally make people's drinks wrong or big, etc. So it's interesting. It's uh, it's it's definitely interesting. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I believe this is since this is being done live, uh, and I'm not exactly sure who sent this. I believe this came from Jam. I feel safest. I feel safe as just thanking Jam for this. So, Jam, thank you. Um, if you're watching right now and you'd like to uh, play this game for yourself, as I said at the beginning, uh, it is on uh, PC and PC and Switch and PS4 and Vita. Did I get that right? It's on several things. If you're interested in playing it on PC, uh, do consider using the Humble Bundle link we have on screen now or the description box down below. You can pick up the game and also support the channels in the process. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week for another Stephen Plays First 20.